Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna play with our journals some more. So basically what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take one of my insert packs, I'm gonna take one of the books that I have, um, I'm gonna just grab one, and I am going to basically play with the inserts. Actually, I need two of the insert packs because we're going to um, start setting the inserts with the covers that we want to kind of put them with. So I need one of these. Actually, that's um, the wrong one. So I only say that's the wrong one because I have four Riding Hood and four Alice in Wonderland. And this one is those two are Riding Hood. Those two are Riding Hood. And this one should be Alice. Yep. Okay. So we're going to grab one of those and then we're going to grab one of one, two, three. Where'd the other ones go? Oh, I set them aside and set them in a different stack so they wouldn't get confused with these inserts and then I lost them, but I found them again. Okay, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to um, edit, if you will. So basically when I created these, all I did was I started putting pages together that I thought would go well together that, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do at the time. Um, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to start editing and taking out, putting in um, to make sure that it's a nice flowing, good, cohesive journal. So, um, I don't know where I want to start. Uh, let's start with this one. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to just glue down because this one is, it's not glued down at all. So, um, I think with these, I'm going to go ahead and glue these flaps closed. And that's really the only thing I'm going to have to do with these, uh, with this particular fold. So let me grab my glue here. I drink some of my water. It's water today, not tea. Um, so I'm going to put some glue. I don't know if I want to make that a pocket or not. I think I do want to make that a pocket. And in order to do that, I need this. So we're going to punch a hole there. And then, actually, I might not glue this down yet because I can uh, do something to it real quick. And basically what we're doing is we're making our pages presentable, whether it's just one page at a time or one whole insert at a time, we're just making them presentable. So the first thing I want to do is I want to cover this up a little bit with um, some paper. Yeah, we'll take this. So this is just the, the first initial um, so I got these in the mail the other day and they are they're sealed with this tape and when you cut it right here you end up with a piece here and then another piece here like this so I can't really use this except for in places uh, like this so I only need like a little tiny bit uh, probably about that we'll go with that much so, right there. And basically all I did was I creased that with my finger um, just so I didn't have to measure it. And we're gonna make this and then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing here. Should be in 
that right. And we're going to cut that. Yeah, we're going to get back on the camera. And we're going to cut that. So. And then give me just one second. Okay, I'm back. So anyway, where were we? We were going to decorate this bad boy. So let's get our little glue book thingy, my booger, and our glue stick. And we are going to put this down here, like so. And then cut right there because we don't need that. And mark a little bit more because we didn't cut enough. Ah ha ha. Much better. Okay. So I'm going to take this and apparently smear all the glue all right there we go yeah we're going to smear all of the glue on that one little spot all right so we're going to take this lay it down here like so, like this, then we have a little bit of a contrast. And then we can take this boy and put some glue on the edge here, like that. We're going to take this one, we're going to do the same concept, but reversed. So, like I said, all I'm doing is I'm doing some editing, making some pages pretty, taking some pages out, adding pages. It's just part of the process of making your journals. And this one here is going to be an Alice journal. Okay. I'm going to glue here across the bottom. We can get our glue to come out. Okay. And I think I want to add some ribbon to these pages. I think that would be pretty. Alright, I've got all kinds of ribbons. Just got this one in the mail. Let me untie it because it's still tied up. Well, I thought I was going to untie it, but I think it's in a knot. Oh, nope, it's not. Yay. Anyway, I think that would be pretty. What do you think? I think that would be pretty. Alright, so we're going to guess it's right around there. We can cut the excess if need be. I want to add another one on top of this because I think it would look cool. Um, all right, so this one's going to be an Alice book, so let's try this one here that's like all, you know, all that. I think you are in my way. I think that might look good. Let's grab a piece of that and see what happens. 
Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to put some, and you can sew this um, if you'd rather. I am not going to sew this particular time. I might sew at a later date, but I'm not going to sew this time because I'll just glue that pocket down. And I don't particularly want that glue in my sewing machine. So, and it might actually be easier to glue or to sew lace versus gluing it. Just saying. So we're going to put that there. All right, and then we're gonna put this, haha, <laughs> yes please, there. All right, we're gonna angle this slightly that way. And put a tiny, tiny bit of glue on the edge here just to keep it from fraying. And I'm gonna put it right there, like so. Alright. And basically I'm just using the glue from behind the lace to adhere this down. If I need more, I will definitely be able to get more. Let's take this and angle this piece like a soap. And that is a lot of glue. I just need a tiny, tiny bit. Just enough to keep it from fraying. And I am going to need more glue. So we're going to go ahead and peel this up all the way. And we're going to put some glue down, kind of towards the middle-ish area, or, you know, all over the place, because this glue wants to go all over the place when it blows up like this. There we go. Wrong way. And as you notice, I can uh, definitely tell that I didn't put the, the bottom lace on there straight, but that's okay because this is gonna fold in half. Hello. This is gonna fold in half. So it looks pretty straight on this side, and then it looks pretty straight on that side. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut the edge here, just right here. And then again over here. Just like that. And now our page is really starting to come along. So let's move this out of the way. I almost want to put this pen in here, but I don't think that's going to work. It's just going to like stop. Or it's just gonna get clogged up. Okay, so let's see what else can we do to this. Um, what else do I have? I've got these little Project Live cards that I made the other day. Could definitely use them to kind of put in there. I kind of like that but I think what I want to do instead is I want to get some of this paper that I've been gifted and I think I want to use 
a bit of this. All right. So we're going to say, I'm going to fold this. Let's see. I'm going to fold this about there. Looks good to me. Okay. And then fold one more time this way. Actually, I may not have to fold that way. Uh, let's just do this side. And all I'm doing is taking my scissors right across that crease and just ripping it. Not so carefully. Okay. Alright. And now I can get an idea if I fold it this way. No. What about this? No, I'm going to have to fold it again. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make that crease. And I'm going to use my ruler this time. It still rips it. It just gives it just a little bit of a cleaner edge instead of, you know, really, really jaggedy. Jaggedy? Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word. But, alright, so I'm unfold it, and we're going to fold that out. And then, we're going to put this here. I think I want to put this like this. Let's see, where are you? I can feel you. Alright, there we go. Okay. And I'm just going to fold that. Like so. I have so many cords going on right now, like in this general vicinity. Because I have a cord going up to my phone, because my phone's like dying. So I've got it plugged into my computer. And then I have a cord, I got a new lamp that's like right here and I have a cord going straight up. And so it's right here and it's all up in the way and uh, it's just, it's just a mess. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear the bottom of this because I don't need the bottom. Just need that top piece. Like, so we're gonna tear this side ever so slightly. Because I do want, I want to see this paper, but I don't necessarily want to see all of it, you know? Because some of it's really cool, but some of it's just like, meh, it's just writing. Alright, so we'll take that just like so. That's cool. Alright, what do we want to put right there? Alright, um, let's get this down. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of glue straight down here, just to go over those holes, because holes are fun to glue. Alright, and then, like so. Just like that, get the extra glue off. Okay, so there's that. I actually kind of like that, but might leave him. All right, so then the next one is over here. And we'll go up this way. And let's see. Go up just ever so slightly there. Let's find that. There it is. Now this is probably the worst way you can measure stuff. Like, all I'm doing is I'm finding this fold underneath this paper and I'm 
basically I'm scoring the paper and then I will go back fold it on that little score line and then rip it or try to rip it or not there we go and this works with this particular ruler because it's it's metal um, I don't know if it'll work with a um, plastic ruler or not I don't know I've never tried it but I'm sure it'd be interesting to find out all right so now we need to take um, we'll take let's see how about that much Alright, and I'm just going to fold this and then rip it instead of using the ruler. Uh, it's a little bit thicker of a paper, so I'm going to fold it back again. I'm going to crease it with my nails, and then I'm just going to tear it. And it's alright if it's not perfect, but... That's kind of the general idea is we don't really want it to be perfect. I do need a little bit off the bottom. Oops. I tore it instead of folded it. That was funny. I mean, I want it torn, but I need it folded first. You know, I could just rip it completely. That works too. All right, and it's going to be glued down underneath here, so that's okay. I'll just rip that off. And there we go. Wait. And you could also uh, use ATG if you wanted to on here. I'm just using glue stick because I have it out and available. And um, I've used ATG before. It works nice. It's a lightweight. Um, it doesn't warp your papers. Um, I mean, it works just as good as the glue stick, in my opinion. Uh, the only difference is, is it's not wet. So, it, there's no chance of it warping your papers. Alright, so, I didn't scoop that over quite enough, but that's okay. I got it on the edge instead of off of the edge, which that's all right. All right, so there you go. Isn't that cool? Okay, now let's see. What do we want to do? Do we want to do anything to this top part? It's pretty, pretty blank here. So I'm thinking that we can leave it and whoever gets this journal can stamp right there because that's a nice chunk of you know, whatever. All right, that's good. Now, what do we want to do to this side? Do we want to, ooh, that would be nice. I think I want to just adhere this instead of putting a pocket right there. Um, And this is a really large piece, so I am going to use my gun for this one. I think I'm going to put it up there. That's cool. And then we get to keep that little image down there. So, pardon me, my gun hit my water bottle. And so, with the ATG gun, you just put tape around the edges. You can put it in the middle. Um, 
or you could do like me and miss the edge completely and have to go back because you haven't used your ATG gun in forever. Um, with big old pieces like this, I normally do, hello, I normally do um, go through the middle. And I just hit my cup again. All right, which way do we want this this way? All right, let's flip this upside down so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so we want it kind of centered, but remember it is going across a signature, so it's not that big of a deal if it's not perfectly centered. So remember, it's going to be I just need to crease that piece of paper inside. See? It's going to be like this. So this will be on one side and then this will be on the other. That's pretty neat, if I do say so myself. Alright, we need to keep our scraps away from our pages here. Because our pages are getting covered up by all my scraps. <laughs> um, that's a really pretty card. So I just got this in the mail. It came from Miss Roxy Creations over from Italy. And wow, oh, that's nice too. Got some pieces of fabric there. Got some twine here, and nope, that just gets lost. Uh, I do want this twine though. I just gotta undo the knot. Uh, Alright, so there's that. Okay, so let's see, what else can we play with right here? Hmm, maybe some washi? Some stickers. I've, I do have some stickers. I have a couple. There's one. There's some things that we can add inside. Um, oh, that'll be fun. Let's see. We'll pull some of these out because those are always fun to play with. They're just rosettes that I've die cut. Um, and then, you know, throwing some things. That's fun too. Oh, I know. I also have these guys that I um, um, set aside and we can use them. So there is a lot of images in this and give me one more second. Right, I'm back again. So. <laughs> This is going to be an interesting video. I've already had to stop it twice now. Honestly, I forgot why the first time I stopped it was, but the second time I stopped it was because the UPS truck was right outside the door. And um, I'm really lucky. I've got this big old window that's right here and I can see uh, things coming and whatnot. Anyway, I recently ordered a yardstick so I could um, um, measure out um, some of these uh, fabrics that I have so I can get them on my shop. So anyway, we were playing with these um, different pages and whatnot. So let's continue doing that. So we've got lots of postcards with really great images that we can play with. And I think I want to use one of them on here. Um, I think, let's see. Ooh, that'd be nice. Okay, let's do... Oh, no, that one's gonna get lost. Ooh, that one'd be nice, though. Okay, let's do that one. So, we're gonna set these aside, and I bought this box specifically for this project. So, um, oh, and one of the... My yardstick came through Amazon, so I have really cool, like, this packing paper. I don't know about you guys, but I love keeping the packing paper because it's like a really cool texture because I'm weird. I like textured papers. And anyway, um, so I have that to play with now as well. So I'm just trying to like 
keep everything a little organized here. So let's take these, put them back up there. Take that. Um, um, da -da -da -da. All right, and then we are going to cut this out. Oh, maybe I could rip it. Do you think? No, probably not. Now we're going to cut it. I'm going to cut it right outside this image. So, or right inside the image, rather. And it's kind of like an odd shape image. So, I think that'll be cool. Alright, and hopefully I can keep track of these, uh, of the time, because like I said, it's, um, I've already had to stop the video twice now. So, do I want to put it here? I think I want to put it here, and let's see, it's going to sit like this. Yeah, let's put it here, we're going to put like, um glue across the bottom edge and the side edge and we're going to create this little tuck spot and I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac it's here it's open all right so there we go with that so now we have the first little page done all right, let's see what else we got to play with. Um, let's put that back. And I think all of these inserts will fit into here just fine. Uh, yep, so we're not gonna have to cut any of the pages down, so that's good. Um, so let's look at the next page. That page will be fine. This page, let's do something with that. Alright, so this is an envelope. I think I want to add a magnet there, maybe. Um, no, I don't think I will. Let's see what I've got over here. I'm going to move my book covers out of the way. Grab my box of ready-made embellishments. Let's do it this way so we can dig in there. All right, let's see. What do we got? Most of these are going to be Eastery, but some of them might work well. This is a nice little, probably use that little flippy thing. Maybe we'll use that. That one's nice. I'm just pulling out some pieces that aren't necessarily Eastery per se. Um, well, that's nice. I might use that one. And it doesn't take anything to like make these. You just put a bunch of stuff together, and then um, like what I do is I take um, I take a bunch of um, uh, paper clips, and I just pin it all together. And I'm about to push my iron off my table. Um, oh, this box is way too big to be on my desk. 
Oh, there we go. That's nice. That's nice. That's interesting. Let's do that. Okay, well, this video has been split more times than I can count. That was my phone ringing. Um, so, <laughs> wow. Good thing for the internet is it's all one big video for you guys. I just have a hard time keeping track of the time when it does stuff like that. Like, I would have to stop it for this, that, and or another. Um, so... Oh, and now my husband's calling me. I just can't win today. I don't think I'm going to be able to record today. This is crazy. Um, all right, so give me a second, and I'm going to pull out a couple more of these. I will not continue until I'm able to get back on the camera and sit down and do some of this stuff. But let me go figure out what they want and... I think we've got enough to play with over here. So I'm just going to set this aside. And then I'm going to go see what they want. And then I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So I don't know how long <laughs> this particular cut of video is going to be. Um, because uh, the reason that my husband called me was because he was playing out in the garden to, um, to incorporate the potting soil with the vermiculite and the dirt itself anyway. Uh, he hit a water main, so now my entire backyard is flooded. So we had to call the housing people and get them to come out here. And I don't know if they're going to be calling me or if they're going to be calling my husband or who they're going to be calling. That's cute. But I assume they're going to be calling somebody and or coming to my front door. Well, they're going to be coming to my front door regardless. But um, I like this one. Um, but anyway, so that's what that was. I'm having a very, um, entertaining day today. I thought today was just going to be nice and quiet and, you know, I'll get some crafting done. Mm. Well, I'm getting some crafting done gradually, but, uh, <laughs> it's definitely not nice and quiet. It is a very busy here today. All right. And I put this like that. Like so. That's a pretty picture on this book of man. All right, let's see. What do I want to put on this side? Um, I do have this really cool picture, uh, sticker rather, and I think I can use it in pieces. So, let me see, let me think, let me think, um, I've got a well, um, there they are. It's like I knew that I had them handy. I just I reorganized my little area right here and then I lost track of where they were. Um, so I've got a bunch of little pre made paper clips. We're just going to grab a couple. And I'm uh, probably going to grab a couple that aren't necessarily Eastery. Let's see, we can use that one, that one, that one. Use that one, that one, uh, that one, that one, that one. All right. So we'll take the more eastery colors away, and we'll use these guys. There's another one. I like these red ones. Might want to keep that. Take the yellow ones. And we'll keep the red ones. Alright, let's see. What can we come up with? Alright. So. 
want to use this chicky here. All right. And I want to put her right there. And let's see, what else do I want? I got a little one over here somewhere. Uh, is that as little as I got? Hmm, that might be as little as I got. I'm gonna have to make like teeny tiny micro scrappy embellishments because um, I would like to use them for these tags. Uh, let's see here. Gotta keep an eye out the window because like I said, they're coming eventually. Just don't know when exactly. I think I want to just do her. Um, let's see. Kind of little washies do I have over here? Pulled some washies out for my Easter journals, but I need to pull some wash, like put these away and then pull some washies out for these guys. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, we'll do this one here. This one, add a little birdie. Here. And then we'll add her to the other side. Over here. Like so. All right, so there's one little paper clip and we can put that right there. And then we'll pull this off. Carefully. And then we'll pull this one off. Carefully. Okay. And then this one off. Carefully. Okay. And that way it also We'll take out some of that dimension because we don't necessarily want the dimension. All right. All right. Still no sign of the maintenance people. Still got that sticky right there, that one little spot. So, might have to do some finagling with that and make that work. All right, move you guys out the way. This guy, uh, do we want to do something to the back? Maybe. Um, let's see. This way, tuck in that way. Um, just add, you know, add this straight to the bottom here. Add like a little tuck spot right there. Then, then we can add another postcard right there too. So let's do that. 
Okay. And then someone's digging in ice. So that if you hear that, that's what that is. Um, it's a little warm outside. Um, they were outside playing in the garden, but that was very quickly halted because they, uh, they hit a water, a water line. All right. All right. So we have got our little, oh, what can we put right there? And add that little sticker right there. No, we cannot. Oh, yeah, we can. No, we cannot. Yeah, we can. No, we can. I don't know what we can do. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure something out. Oh, that's cute. Let me put that there. Those are cute. Maybe not with that tape. I want to get some of these little mini cards like this because they're super cute. And I've got a I've got a decent stash of cards that we can play with. So this is probably done. So let's find a card to go in there. Ooh, that's nice. Ah, very nice. Okay. And then this one, let's find a card to go in there. Um, oh, that one's cute. All right, actually, um, I think instead we will put this card on this side, like that. Oh, we could just cut that out, cut that out. But I kind of want to leave, I, I want to leave some of the postcards um, in decent shape that wear you can still use them as postcards. Uh, let's use this one instead. Okay, so what's next? Um, do we want to put anything in there? We just want to leave that blank. Uh, we'll grab another one of these pages. These are fun to play with. Okay, let's open this back up so we don't lose our spot. Let's see. We'll take this so we don't lose our spot. And that way we can close it too. Um, or not. So let's see what we have. Uh, we can actually move this. We only needed this to um, see if the pages would fit in the journals and they will. So we can move that out of the way for now. Um, as you guys can see, um, your desk gets quite cluttered very quickly when you're playing with all these embellishments and such. So let's move, because you want it kind of like at your reach, but at the same time, you still need to be able to work in your space. So I'm just picking some of this stuff back up and making it a little bit more manageable. Um, I'm going to put you there. All right, let's see. So we have a pocket here, and then we have a pocket here and here. Okay, so let's work with this side first, or this section first. And I think what I want to do is there was a little bit of that paper left. Um... Let's see here. Oh, that would be interesting. Oh, not big enough. Well, well, that's just big enough. Hmm. No, we want to use something different. So let's take all of these guys and push them back a little bit. And did we use all of this? I don't remember. All right. Um, oh, my computer's 
is very loud. I swear, if it's not one thing, it's another. Like, it's crazy. This is not my day today, I'm telling you. I'm just going to close my computer so it doesn't make any more racket. And I have to move my box of cards first because they're in the way. Okay, so I think this was it. So let me grab another page um, here. And let's see. I think if we do... I think if though this, well, no, I think it'll be fine. All right, so I want it just past the, let's see, where's that line at? There it is. All right, so this one here, and then this one Fold that down, crease that, uh, rip that, excuse me, thank you, okay, two little scraggly pieces here, alrighty, now we can take this, or you can put this right there. What do you think about that? And do we want the bottom or the top? Because I think the bot or the top will still have that number one showing. Oh, look at that. Just pull that straight off. There we go. All right, so let's do that. Okay, um, how do I wanna do this? I think we'll do the glue gun. And we can glue stick in the middle or we can glue gun in the middle. And I don't mean a hot glue gun, I just mean an ATG gun or an ATG runner because the G in ATG stands for gun. All right, so let's fold these back down and then put this one, excuse me, put this one right there. And right there. Voila. All right. So now we're going to refold this. Just to make that crease there. Okay. And then we are going to use scissors. Cut this off. Just like so. And now that is that part. Okay. And I just got some packaging material so we could play with that too. That'll be fun. So let's see. We'll put this one here. Actually, if we just fold this in half, what's that going to do? Ooh, pretty. Okay, see, I can do it this way or this way. doesn't matter. All right. I'm going to rip that. And we're going to really rip it. All right, so we're going to put that on the bottom so we can just tear that off. Okay. Just like that. some glue on this. Alright. Some more glue. Alright. 
and then can open this up, fold this out. Like I'm gonna put it right here in the corner. Like so, we're gonna pull off the edge just a little bit and try to make that a little straighter. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Um, so we're going to fold this. We're going to cut this. Careful not to cut your fold of your paper. Okay. We're going to keep him. That paper has turned into a pen. Don't mind me. All right. And so now I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Um, right around there. Okay. And then some glueage. hard to deal with until it's like all where it's supposed to be. All right, keep him over there. Ah, really? Okay, just stay. All right, so now we have that going on. And we can glue this side here now. So I'm just gonna kind of fold this back just a little bit. I don't want to crease. And then put some glue right there. I'll pick it up to crease it because I don't want it to stick to this um, back page here. So, we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. And the paper is not going to cooperate with us. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we have a pocket here and here, and we have a pocket here and here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and seal that up. Okay. So we're going to put glue across the top here, and then across the bottom here, I'm going to close that up. And they still have not come to fix this water, I don't know what they're waiting on. Then we're going to come and do the same thing on this side. And here. And then we're going to squish it. 
I guess I will. All right. I honestly, I don't even know what time this video is at because I've had to stop it so many times. Um, I don't have a clue. So, uh, I think I'm going to run this for about 10-15 more minutes and then call it for today. Um, just because I don't, I don't have a clue what we're at right now. And I don't want to run over, you know. So... Um, mm, that's nice. Um, let's see. And put that at the top right there. Let's glue that straight down. I like that. Well, that's not going to come out then. Okay. I didn't want to come out of my lid. I just sat there. So I said, fine, I'll use the Fabri-Tac. And I don't have one of those things for the Fabri-Tac. Um, we're gonna put you right there. Okay, and then we're gonna put this one right there. Um, kinda wanna do something here. I like that. All right. Let's do that. one right here like that but this one do a little bit of collaging real quick and then Happiness, family, love, together, us, is what this says. Okay. okay. And then this can go right there. And we're going to use Fabri-Tac because it's a little bit of a thicker card. And we'll make sure it stays, stays put.
That's pretty. Um, let's cover up that. Let's not go upside down with it. For a moment. Alright. Oh, stay. Hold that there. And then re glue you back up. And then put you. There. There we go. All right. That's nice. There. And anywhere, anytime there's like thread work, I try to use a a better glue than a glue stick, um, whether it be the tacky glue or the Fabri-Tac. Now, the glue stick's great. It is absolutely amazing. Very, very secure, very permanent. Um, it just doesn't really like the thread too much, is all. Okay, so there's that. And then, let's see. you down there. I think I keep hearing like a truck or something. That's why I keep like stopping and looking over. Right. Put you right there. Oh, that's what we got over there. Yeah, I need to go through my washies and put some more fitting washi together because right now it's all about like spring and such and as much as it is great it doesn't really match um let's see I think maybe now I want to do it this way um, oh that'd be nice let's do it that way all right. Okay. All right. There's that, and then this can get right there, like so. And this was a card I got in the Happy Mail. could also put something up here. Um, well, that's nice. And it goes better there. All right, we're going to finish this particular insert up. And then we will call it for today because like I said, I don't know what the time frame is. And I seem to be doing pretty decent with, you know, the hour, hour, 10 minute videos. Um, but anything past that, I think might be a little much. Um, let's see, what can I put there? Um, I don't know what to put in there. Um, that's not going to go there, but it will go there. Uh, that's too big. 
this will go there. So these are some embellishments in um, that I recently got in um, in the mail for various reasons, whether it was uh, part of Happy Mail or whether it was part of something that I bought and someone just sent it to me. Um, so let's finish this back one up and then we will be done with this. Look at that. So let's do, let's see, let's do this on the bottom here. Hold that. Um, I'm just going to do some collaging here until it looks like something I think is presentable. Okay. Um, That'd be fun. That's too long. Uh, yep. All right. Okay. Put you there. Too big. Use you glue. All right, and um, let's see that there, and then we can put. That's not going to work either. All right. Well, the back of this is gone, but let's see if we can't get this stuff off of here. We can use most of this little ephemera piece here. I can get most of this foamy stuff off. And then we can put this one, actually cut this off at the bottom, like that, put that, um, we put that like that, and that's not going to work, I'm going to need this, just because I have to go over that, um, the foamy pieces here. It's the only reason I'm using the Fabri-Tac this time. Um, and I don't know if it would adhere the foamy pieces, honestly. It's the fact that it'll be like super adhered to the, um, the paper. Because it's really, really good tape or glue or whatever. We're actually going to move this. We're going to move it right here. And we are going to cover up, nope, I don't like that. I still need to cover that up. Bird, nope, nope, ooh, I know, butterfly. All right, so I think I just heard 
the maintenance people and they're not at my front door so I think that means they went out back which is fine because my husband's out back monitoring the explosion of water all right now we're going to just put this down here just like we're layering some more and that is a lot of glue there we go take some of that back off and voila now that sticky on her dress is covered up with more sticky and a button I love these stickers I wish I wish I could find more but I don't think they're in production anymore honestly they are from um, K and company they're like little button stickers and they're amazing but like I said I don't think they're in production anymore all right let's see so I found this one and I think I like this one but I'm gonna have to open this up a little bit I think I want to put this like right here right on cover that up so but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distress this so I'm gonna cut around it and then I'm going to excuse me thank you uh, kind of better around it Then I'm going to take my little my little thingy thing in my drawer right here, and I'm gonna take this and set it aside. And I'm just gonna kind of rough up the edges like I tore it. Cause I don't know about you, but I'm not sure I'm strong enough to adequately and effectively tear a postcard to make it look pretty. So, I'm going to fake it. Like, yeah, I tore this. See, I'm tearing it right now. Alright. And if you wanted to, you could go back and ink up the edges. I don't think I'm going to. Alright. Alright. And just kind of smooth it out. Not necessarily clean it up, because I don't want it cleaned up. But I do want it flat. So. So we will definitely be working on the Alice journals before the Writing Hood journals. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do the Writing Hood journals. I hope I will, but I may not. So they might have to be put on the back burner. But as of right now, we're going to play with the Alice journals. And this is what we've got so far in our in our journals so we have got um, so I put stuff in all of them except for these guys let's see let's put you right there and we'll add that's way too big We'll add you back there, and then, um, ooh, I could, I know, I could put a, a thingy thing, a paper clip, right? 
right there on that one like so so there's this one this one that we did today and then we finished this one here but I do want to go through and make sure and we'll finish the rest of this at another time but we're just gonna take this whole thing flip it over and I want to make sure that the other side's got some goodies in it too so it's got this page but it needs something on here so let's take the clock here like a sou. Uh, that's upside down. Let's not take the clock like a sou. We'll take this one. And there we go. And then, what did we, oh, we could put this one right there, our little mini journal. And then we can take this tag here, put it right there. So that's what we have done today and we will continue to work on the rest of these pages at another time because like I said I have no idea how long this video actually is. This is like the fourth or fifth cut. So anyway hope it's not too got off along and uh, thanks for joining and until next time. Bye guys!